Hey, what's up everybody? Burley Explorers in the middle of the woods. Been really excited to do this video for a long time. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, no excuses for it, but I think you're gonna like what we got coming up here. So, Burley Explorers will be back with something new, with something exciting, and something that's been a dream of Sarah and I's, and mine, forever. <laughs> You guys ready to see what it is? I know the tension's probably getting to you because it's just so exciting. And I have already been here. Um, got here a little bit later last night. Took a while to get everything squared away. Um, but without further ado, let's show you what it is. Well, what do you think? This is our cabin with 10 acres in the middle of nowhere. So you're gonna get a tour, MTV crib style tour of our cabin. A couple things right off the bat though. Um, isn't it just amazing how quiet it is? I almost feel disrespectful talking. So you're wondering what the boards are. Those boards are um, there for the snow. So the snow doesn't get inside the screen, screened in porch. Um, so the previous owners have already prepped that for us. We'll make it a little bit nicer in the future. Uh, but this trip is just to sort of feel it out, see what we need, see how it operates. So there's sort of the, the driveway. You can see the entrance right there. Come around back. There is a well here. But apparently there was a freak accident with the well. You can see the well um, right there. It's not working. Um, the casing fell in. There was a freak electrical storm that took it out apparently. Um, see the propane for right now. Um, and there's the, the jack um, for coming out for the wood stove that we'll have to get up. I'm guessing that was a platform for um, water at some point possibly. Uh, they left a the boat. I don't know if you can see it over there. They left a old motorcycle. That's super old. Um, and there used to be a deck going all the way around. And I'm guessing the deck was just um, wood with no covering on it. So one of the problems they had is that the water got stuck um, to the side of the cabin which caused some some water leakage but that's all since been fixed um, so let's let's go inside beautiful screened in porch dark in here because there's a lot of trees that need to be taken down. Welcome to the cabin. So it's a little, a little toasty in here right now. So now the light's a little bit better. But you can see you got a set up table that they left. There's the propane heater. There is the sink. They did have water. They do have a well. Um, I think I already showed you that, but the issue was something happened electronically with the storm. So there's 
my little cooking setup. I don't know why they painted the floor blue because it looks like it's really nice wood down there. Which is a shame because none of that will completely come up unless we do a ton of sanding. Um, but you can tell it was a cabin. You could tell. Um, they used to have insulation up there, but that was one of the things that ended up getting a little wet um, previously, apparently. They got that panel, which eventually we'll probably put some, some cabin siding in here, spruce it up a little bit. Gonna definitely want to put a window over there to let some more light in. There's the porch. Got a little fire going outside. Really can't see that probably. It's going down. Um, you can see a couple spots, which anybody have any ideas? They're just random. They're not, it's not soaked through. It's just a little condensation on the surface and it's not super wet, it doesn't change. I mean, obviously it's it's wet, but the texture of the wood, it's not like I can peel it away or, you know, nick my thumb in it. There's a little bit more over here in the corner. But it's, it's interesting because it doesn't come from the floor. It's coming from inside the walls, which is interesting. So then here's the stairs um, to get up. So there's it's just basically an attic ladder. Not basically, it is. They left a dresser, little cabinet, some shelves, rug. Here's our cots. Oh, I slept on. Not a good night's sleep. You can tell this window is old. There's a lot of condensation on it. Got pretty warm in here last night. I turned the, uh, well, you can't see it, but the little buddy heater. And you can tell here it was more damaged. It's completely dry now, uh, but they put insulation there. And that's sort of like a little attic above because they built a roof over it. So we're going to have to, maybe somebody can give us some suggestions of what we should do with that. Maybe spray some of that, um, or paint that mold and mildew paint. Um, let that dry out for a summer, and then um, maybe insulate it again. Maybe spray foam. Um, any suggestions would be helpful, but it's completely dry now. And this is still paneling, but it, at least it looks a little more cabinish. Eventually, we'll finish everything into a cabin. It's got some pretty steep stairs going up, which we'll eventually fix. Um, so let's go up. We'll show you the second story. Now this is open. I've got that door locked, but that goes into the bedroom area. But beautiful new. It's got a new roof, and I don't know if you can see it from here. Maybe a little bit. It is a metal roof. Eventually. We'll probably make this metal as well. But it's a beautiful porch we're sitting. So if you're curious, that's south. So it'd be nice out here in the summer to see the summer sky. Uh, it's been pretty overcast, so I didn't see anything last night. So there's the shed. That's got some miscellaneous tools in it. And then the fanciest outhouse you'll ever see. One of the things that really attracted it to us to this property is there's some really old, solid, straight trees. You see how straight all of these are? That one's probably going to come down, and then probably that one. They're both hemlocks. It's actually really nice, dry. A little bit warmer in there than you thought. Your body heat does a pretty good job warming it up. And I should say it's about, um, it's about 30 degrees out right now, as you can tell, you know, with the snow on the ground and everything. It did snow last night and didn't snow this morning. Looks like it's shaping up to be a pretty good day. You can see blue 
yesterday was all overcast. So there's the commode. I've already used it and broke it in. <laughs> um, so pretty happy with that. So here's the shed. And there's an, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's even an homage to Uncle Kevin. There's an Alaska plate up at the top. So he's here with us. Always. I have a I have a feeling Uncle Kevin would really like this. So let's go in and take a look at what's in here. Get some more light in it. So there's some Actually, a lot of nice stuff, like five or six shovels, gas cans, another really nice lantern, scissors, a couple machetes, um, a propane lantern, table, a bunch of rakes, some really nice oars, some really nice saws. That's nice. These are almost brand new, never been used. Um, nice spud bar. Um, I don't know if that's a like an old school foil or something. <laughs> the things you find. Really nice pair of loppers. This will be this will be nice for home because I don't have one of those bad boys. Pounder stamper. bunch of lanterns and a bunch of paint that will uh, probably be thrown away which probably wasn't because you can't just throw that away easily there's a bunch of uh, clips some climbing stuff some wood it's up here looks like some roofing tar paper I don't know if those are, oh that's a roof vent. So, some pretty nice stuff. Well that's it for our tour of Camp Adams, or Cabin Adams, trying to think of a catchy name for it. Um, so, next up will be the tour around the woods so you can get a lay for the land. So, check it out.